When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is. Your life is just to live your life inside the world. Try not to bash into the walls too much. Uh, uh, try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. But life, th that's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. And you can change it, you can influence it, you can build your own things that other people can use. I think that Steve Jobs saw that people in general put way too much confidence in the world around them and in those who are in positions of authority. And on the other hand, really underestimate and are underconfident in their own ability. We tend to accept as truth what the people that we look up to or people in positions of authority say, from the President of the United States right through to our friend who's just a bit louder than us. And we fear making a suggestion that might be rejected or even worse, might be accepted and then lead to failure. You know, we don't want to suggest a restaurant and then go there and it be terrible and we get the blame. And whatever you call it, being polite, going with the flow or being loosey-goosey with other people's plans, I think it's so easy just to go along with other people's decisions and I'm really guilty of this. I mean, I was out at a bar on Thursday night this week with a load of friends and my friend said, oh, what do you want to drink? I was like, oh yeah. And bear in mind, I really did not want to drink wine at all. I was like, oh, yeah, whatever you're having. And I ended up drinking wine. I think I've actually got way better at making decisions uh, since my good friend Nat told me about a trick he discovered in Tim Ferriss's book, The Four Hour Work Week. And in his book, Tim Ferriss states, and I quote, uh, very often your success in life can be measured in a number of uncomfortable conversations you're willing to have and actions you're willing to take. And that goes like this. Whenever you're in social situations, train yourself to actively offer up suggestions rather than being the passive recipient of other people's suggestions and going with the flow. Take the lead. And to do this, I think it's really helpful to use language like, can I suggest that we get desperados? Or how about we try the champagne here? or let's get a couple of gin and tonics, or why don't we try out the beer here? Whatever it might be, use that active language and yes, kind of offer them an opportunity to reflect on the suggestion and make a decision collectively, but take the lead in offering those suggestions and take the lead in making the decision quickly. And I think it's really best to train yourself in these really low risk social situations where actually there's very little at stake if your decision is terrible or if you make a suggestion that everyone ignores or thinks is rubbish. If you are at a restaurant, then make a suggestion as to what you might eat let's get those three appetizers or if you're going to the cinema make a decision on what film you're going to watch going on a night out or going on a holiday with friends take the active role in trying to find hotels and suggest hotel options or for example if you're planning your next hinge date then make a active suggestion let's go and do bowling or let's do whatever people do on hinge dates and I think for lots of people especially British people and I'd be really interested to know what it's like in your culture but at least the Americans that I know are generally way better at making decisions and offering suggestions than I am. So yeah, let me know in the comments what it's like where you're from. But I think from my own perspective, I often feel like it's rude or kind of too aggressive to make a decision uh, or offer a genuine kind of strong suggestion as to what we should do. But when I take a step back and I think about my experience of going to the cinema or going to a restaurant with friends, when someone's like, yeah, I've been here before, like I know that this, this and this are really good, let's get it. It takes the stress out of the whole experience. And when you think about like watching Netflix now, the most stressful part about that is making the decision as to what to watch because there's so much choice. And I actually love it when people send me suggestions of what I should watch because it takes the stress away from that experience. And I found that other than my minor relapse on Thursday night, in general, I feel like this practice of taking decisions quickly and offering up suggestions has transferred across into more serious parts of my life from deciding how I spend my time through to my work and professional relationships. I feel that I'm much more confident in offering up suggestions. I'm actively conscious of not being passive and of trying to take decisions or at least kind of offer up ideas. I finish with this remark. The practice of making quick decisions in your personal life when little is at stake is invaluable when it comes to making similarly quick decisions in more mission critical situations. So now you know how to train yourself into becoming more of a leader, go check out my other life hack. It's one minute and it will make your mornings insanely productive.